Hello Weekend Crafter! Welcome or welcome back to the Craft Time Studio. I'm Ange and I make clay crafts on the weekend. If you're new to this channel, I hope that you consider liking and subscribing for your weekend dose of crafts. For this weekend, I wanted to experiment with stamping with mica. A member from one of my clay groups mentioned that you can actually stamp using mica. And I was excited to try this idea out for my pendant tutorial. Before beginning with any clay project, please remember to clean your workspace. I usually spray my glass mat with some alcohol and wipe it down before I begin. For materials, you will need clay, a circular cutter, some mica powder, alphabet rubber stamps, some pre-made canes, a detail needle, a sanding tool, a cabochon pendant, and an ink pad. First, get the clay and condition it. I then roll it out into the number 2 setting. Then, I get my circular cutter and press it lightly on the clay, just enough so that I would have a guide as to the space I am working with. Then, I get a medium grit sandpaper and roll it on the clay to give it some texture. Now, it's time to get some mica. By the way, this mica came from createalong.com and I love using them because they are so pigmented and shiny. I pour a bit of it in a small container. Then, I get my ink pad and press my alphabet stamp on it. I do this to make sure that the stamp is a little bit moist so that the mica powder would stick to it. I get some cotton buds because I want to make sure that only the embossed letter is moist as working with mica can get a little messy and I didn't want the entire pendant to be covered in it. After carefully cleaning the surrounding area, I press the stamp on the mica. After stamping, I still go back to it with a cotton bud to make sure that there is no mica around the letter. Next, I get the pre-made petal canes and then lay it along the circle. I get my detail needle to add texture to each petal. I will place a link in the description below for where I bought these petal but canes. But if you don't have any petal canes, you can just make your own small petals by rolling out the log and tapering one end. I also made a leaf cane and then placed the slices in the spaces between the petals. Then, 
I get the circular cutter again and press it down to finally cut out the circle. To avoid distorting the shape, I slide my tissue blade through the slab and use this to lift up the piece. And this goes to the oven. Once this is baked following the instructions on the packaging, I get my Sculpey glaze. With a brush, I spread the glaze onto the letter indent to make sure that the mica does not rub off. Then, I get my empty cabochon. I sand the edges of my baked plate to make sure it sits perfectly on the cabochon. I also sand the back of the piece before adhering it to the cabochon with some super glue. And that is it for my short tutorial for this weekend. I really loved how this turned out and I think it will be a perfect Mother's Day gift this coming May 8. I hope that you learned something new today. If you haven't yet, do consider liking and subscribing to the Craft Time Studio. And if you have time, you can also leave a comment down below. You can find out what I do during the week by following me on my IG at crafttime.ph. Have a crafty weekend. Bye!